Hey guys, Todd here. Uh, today I'm out in the Ocala National Forest. I've actually been cruising some trails uh, and uh, getting into some sandy stuff, getting, been getting into some muddy stuff, um, just kind of having fun being out uh, on, the, uh, on the trail. Uh, I find it very therapeutic. Um, so, uh, so anyway, today I just wanted to show you a couple of uh, accessories that I put onto the Maverick. They are not what you would consider off-road accessories, but I figure what better a place to show them to you than in the beautiful outdoors, right? So let me go ahead and flip this around and show you guys what I put on there. Okay, so first of all, here we go. This is the AVS AeroSkin, the Auto Vent Shade AeroSkin. Um, now this is a gloss black. Um, it's just a, you know, basically a plastic bug shield. So this takes the brunt of things that come up and hit the hood, uh, keeps your hood from getting chipped. Um, it's, it's also super low profile. So, you know, that's why they call it the aero skin because it just kind of like sits on top of there. It's a, it's a substantial piece of plastic. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice and, and thick. Uh, it does a great job. Uh, it's also held on by 3M tape. Um, I know that there's some people that are a little bit leery on tape uh, and taped on products and are afraid that something's going to give up and just fly off. Uh, this stuff is made by 3M. All right, They're, They are a leader in adhesives and they manufacture tape that is designed to stick to automotive paint. So this is going nowhere. Um, something else I wanted to point out is this is a gloss black, but they are able to be painted to match the vehicle or painted to whatever color that you prefer. And uh, honestly, if I was bringing this in, not for media, guys, if you don't know, I work for Real Truck in the media department and we brought this in to get the install video and you can find the install video on this bug shield, me doing it on the Real Truck YouTube channel. So go check that out. But that's the reason why we brought this in to do some media with it. If I was not doing media with it, what I would have probably done is scuffed it up and hit it with some uh, matte black tape or matte black paint. Um, I might actually end up doing that anyway, you know, just kind of tape everything off. Uh, it's pretty easy to do and, uh, and then just hit it with some matte black because I'm a big fan of black uh, when it's matte. And, um, and yeah, I mean, th this does look good, but and, and I know a lot of people like the gloss finish, but personally, I'd probably go with a matte black. Um, I just like the look of it. So next we're going to go to the auto vent shade, uh, low profile vent visors. Now these, um, let, let me just show you real quick what the, the way that these are designed to be installed. Uh, some people don't install it the way it's designed, but I'm going to show you the way it's designed to do it. So if you look at the lines here, um, this is your mirror frame that's going to come up. Um, and you're going to match that line with the mirror frame. And it's going to ride up along here. Now, this is not attached to the paint. This is attached to actually your window frame. Um, and, and that's going to come up here. And there's actually a little bit of a gap between the window frame and the paint and your, your, your uh, vent visor and the paint. So you're going to have a little bit of a gap there until it comes back together right about here where that window stops. Um, and then that is bonded to paint right there and then it comes down here. Um, it actually also goes back behind this. There's actually a little uh, flag portion of this that sticks behind that cap piece there. Um, and it's held in very well. Uh, and, and like I said, as long as this is prepped properly, that's never going to fall off. Uh, not by itself at least. Um, and I really like the low profile look of the tape-ons. Um, and that's actually my preference is tape-on visors. Uh, there are some um, in-channel visors. I know a lot of people like the in-channel visors that actually go up into the window channel. Um, I, you know, I, I like those okay, but they're not as low profile as these. Uh, and that's, that's the look that I like the best. Also, you know, from a customer service standpoint, I actually used to run the, our tech support department or installation support department. Um, and, uh, and what, what I want to point out is that I used to get a lot of, a lot more calls with people having trouble, especially on Ford vehicles with in channels because Ford windows have this thing called bounce back. So the window would go up and once it would feel some resistance, it would come back down. Um, and you know, we, we could work through it and all that, but it was something that I had to deal with, right? So um, if you've never installed something like that before and you want to do it for the first time, you're actually a lot safer going with the tape-on version than with the in-channel version. 
Um, so yeah, just you know, watch the install video and go with that. Use your instructions and use your brain. Uh, but uh, but yeah, it, it's uh, uh, they go on re really nice and it, it looks great. I really love the lines there. Um, so it's just the super low profile look. Um, and for me, I live in Florida um, and it gets really hot here. And let me show you one of the things that I really like that, uh, that this thing does. So if I'm parked out in the sun, um, I can have the window kind of cracked down a little bit. Here's the top edge of the window now. Now I've got the window is open. So you can kind of look and see between the window and the vent visor. Uh, so that allows your cab to vent. Um, and, and if it's raining, rain doesn't come up and back in. I mean, I guess if there was enough wind, uh, it might push a little bit of rain inside. But that does an exceptional job of lowering the cab temperature while it's raining. Um, so anyway, let, let, I'm not going to go on about this anymore. Um, these are some cool features that, that are some cool accessories that I like. Uh, on the Maverick, and yeah, I've got it kind of a, a little bit of a incline right there. Uh, it, you know, it does well in sand and mud and all that kind of stuff uh, with the all-wheel drive, I gotta say. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, you know, check out the stuff on, uh, you know, realtruck.com. Um, and if you have any questions, hit me up. Just enjoy your vehicle, guys. Have a great day.